So if your engine's running rough, uh, wasting fuel, or just acting strange, uh, your Carter YS float might be the hidden problem. Uh, here are eight signs that your float might need adjustment, or might, maybe even uh, replacement. First of all, uh, it's hard starting when hot. If the engine cranks forever or smells like raw fuel after a shutdown, float might be too high, flooding the carburetor bowl and choking the engine with excess fuel. Now, uh, keep in mind that there are other things that could cause these symptoms uh, that I'm going through. Uh, in this case, it could be the choke not opening. Okay, second, fuel leaking or dripping from the carb throat or vent. Uh, that's a classic sign that the bowl is overfilled. Either the float set too high or sticking open, letting fuel uh, pour into the bowl at non-stop. Rough or unstable idle. If your engine's bouncing, sputtering, or stalling randomly, randomly you might have a float that's too high, causing rich condition. Too low and the engine runs uh, too lean and rough. Uh, fourth thing, black smoke coming out of the tailpipe that means you're running rich and if your choke is functioning normally a float set too high could be the reason you're dumping raw fuel into the intake. Uh, fifth thing, hesitation under throttle. If you press the gas and engine bogs, coughs, or even stalls the float might be set too low. You're not getting enough fuel fast enough when it matters. Uh, sixth reason, bad fuel economy. Seventh reason, popping or backfiring through the carb. And number eight, a float that looks wrong. If you open the carb and see a nitrofill float that's swollen, cracked, or heavy with fuel, of course you'd have to weigh it with a gram scale. Uh, of course on a brass float, if it looks cracked or, uh, you know, maybe it's crushed or something, uh, uh, then, you, then it's time to toss the float. In that case, setting the float isn't going to help you. Bottom line is a misadjusted or failing float can mimic all kinds of carb problems. But it's usually a simple fix. <clears throat> Check your float height, inspect the needle and seat, and if the float looks suspicious, don't be afraid to replace it. Well-adjusted float, keep your engine happy, and save you time, gas, and a whole lot of frustration. So, I hope uh, this helped you. 